everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. I know that your time is super valuable and we really, really appreciate you joining us um, to get a little bit of our energy uh, for uh, the place that we found ourselves and landed and to get to know us a little bit better and also uh, the EXP platform. Anyway, my name is Lisa Parento. I am a realtor a broker on beautiful Cape Cod here in Massachusetts. And I am joined by my beautiful property sister, Barbara Legg from San Diego. Thank you. Yes, I'm Barbara Legg. I am here in San Diego. I have a small little team that I that I um, have had my daughter on my team for a couple of years. And um, I am a new grandma. So my little granddaughter is about a year old. She's a little over a year. So she's just so much fun. Um, yeah, been in business for since about 2004. So we've seen the ups and the downs and the ups and the downs. And so here we go. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So uh, tonight we're going to talk a little bit about some of the collaborations that we are working on as well. I think I've got a couple of slides on that in our presentation because we've got some fun things coming up you guys might want to tune into. Uh, and then we're going to get into a little bit of the nuts and bolts of the EXP um, platform because that's what we're really doing is the EXP Explained tonight. And we're going to leave plenty of time for people to get any questions that you might have uh, that you'd like answered because... Just like whenever we start this, we, you know, people are starting to get like completely overwhelmed because it just, you know, there's just so much, there's so much to peel back. This onion is a huge blooming onion from one of those, one of those uh, crazy appetizers. Anyway, I am going to share my screen and we will jump in and get started. So here's our EXP Explained. This is, uh, we do this every first Wednesday and often Barbara and I also join um, Dick Lee and Tom Trong on the second Wednesday of the month. So if you ever want to, you know, learn a little bit more about, about the program, if you're an EXP agent and you want to learn a little bit more about how to present the program, you're more than welcome. Send people, attend yourself, um, whatever you'd like. Uh, Barbara, let, tell a little bit more about kind of what you do in the San Diego market, a little bit more about you, if you don't mind, and then I'll share a bit about me here on Cape Cod. Yeah, sure. Um, okay, so I have been licensed since 2004. Um, I was with a small boutique brokerage before we joined EXP about four years ago. Uh, it was my broker who was the one who said, you know, he's looking at making a change. So uh, we made that that change in about 2018. And um, I do, like I said, have a, a small little team that I, I work here in San Diego. And um, that's probably about it with me. I mean, I'm very, very involved with my community and and always like like to give back and um, I do a lot of my business by referral. So I think you do 99% of your business by referral, which brings us <laughs> of course, to one of our co great collaborations with Buffini. So uh, I am Lisa Parento. I've been selling real estate for a while. I actually started in 93 when there was no buyer agent. So there was like one, three towns over. And we thought there was something, obviously had to be something wrong with that guy. Everyone represented a seller. We had the big MLS books that we would Xerox um, and we loved it. We didn't know any better. Interest rates were in 13%, 14%. We, you know, we, that's what they were. And so you just kind of went on. But then my career morphed into technology sales and I've been back now since 2015. And it's been an amazing ride. We've had a couple of really um, very profitable uh, and very um, busy years, the last couple of years for sure, uh, has been um, challenging in lots of ways, but also financially for, for lots of us, very um, favorable for sure. Uh, like like Barbara, my my most one of my biggest joys of life is that I am also a new glamour and Eloise Ann will be three on Valentine's Day this year. So we have her a day and a half every week and that is a lot of what motivates us for sure. So upcoming collaborations, and I mentioned this quickly. So we have uh, a business plan clinic. This is not a business planning clinic. This is the one hour business plan clinic that we're running this Friday. Uh, from 12 to 1. It's open to everybody. Anyone who wants to join us, feel free. Um, we're going to really be looking at what you need to get and gather in order to do your business plan. Um, what what kind of analysis you might want to get into. We're going to be looking at, at some goal setting. And I've got a great, great exercise that we should share with me this week um, that we've done something similar to it in the past. And then we have a really great resource of a bunch of different templates for 23. And we're going to share them with everybody and just have at it. So we believe this will be a great place to start for your business planning. If you haven't already created your plan, come in, join in. And if you already have done it, you can help everybody else and, and tell us what you've done. So that will be really great. So that's this Friday. And then we have, Barbara, you want to talk about our, our uh, gratitude challenge? Very excited about yes. this. Yes. So Lisa and I have been kind of working on this for the last couple of weeks. And um, we are going to be starting our 2022 gratitude challenge. It's going to start on November 9th. 
Um, it's going to end on November 29th, which actually happens to be Giving Tuesday. So we thought that was kind of appropriate. But every single day, we're going to have a um, different journal prompt. We're going to have a, a different gratitude practice that you can try. Um, we're hoping that this is going to give everybody just some different ideas on, on how you can have more gratitude in your life. So um, please join us. It's going to be a lot of fun. Well, Lisa and I always have a lot of fun anyway. So we will make sure it's going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, we've got all kinds of, of, of takeaways. Uh, and then really exciting, we have three amazing interviews. Um, one with Holly Woodward, who's the current national president of the Residential Real Estate Council, RRC. Um, one of them is our dear, 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 dear friend and mentor, Marissa Trong, who never gets the spotlight. We put the spotlight on her. And then lastly is Russ Lagan, who is our West and Mid Midwest. Growth VP, I don't know what he is. He's, 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 he, he works at EXP. He's just an amazing, amazing giver, uh, amazing servant leader. And um, we have an amazing interview with him as well. So we're so excited about that. It's going to be one of those interviews per week. And um, the fa we have a Facebook group. There's the group right there. Just um, look 2022 Gratitude Challenge in Facebook. You'll find it. It's an open group. Join the group, um, share it around, please, and then come back on the 9th or start sharing stuff now. We're just starting to populate it, so it doesn't look like it's super busy, but we're hoping that people will, um, you know, add all of their gratitude and gratitude practices to the Facebook group. It'll be a wonderful thing to have and to hold uh, during the holidays. So that is our, those two collaborations coming up. So what we're here for tonight is a little bit of uh, an introduction to EXP Realty. So I have here... Um, what we're going to cover, a little bit about the company, the model, and then a little bit about um, some what some others have, have to say for sure about the company. So I'm going to pass this over to you, Barbara, because you're the one that knows Glenn a little bit better than I do. Oh, Glenn, is a, he's, he's a great guy. I have had the privilege of meeting him in person um, a couple of different times, actually, at most of our EXP events, but he actually came out here to San Diego Oh, a couple of years ago with the leadership team and was able to have a, a you know, a nice one-on-one -on -one conversation with him. And he's a very, very humble person, very, of course, very giving. Um, he's a, he's a genius. I mean, he has a, just a genius mind. And, you know, of course he's the brainchild behind the EXP Realty. Um, so he founded EXP Realty in 2009. And I do remember telling my broker when, you know, we decided to make the switch, I said, this company has been around since 2009 and we are just now joining, you know, and you guys will see why I said that, you know, after we kind of go through a couple of these slides, but he's an amazing, amazing person and um, always makes time to, to talk to people when they, when they come up to him, he doesn't just push you off. He's just an amazing person. Yeah. And I think, you know, he had this vision that um, the way that the, the, the brokerage model was structured that, I mean, even in 09, he felt that it was not functioning to the best of its ability. In fact, he continues to kind of say that he felt it was broken. And back then, I mean, everybody had fancy offices. You know, I used to go to a fancy office in Osterville. I mean, we all had, you know, a lot of that brick and mortar and um, the, the facility piece of it. Everybody went in, you had uptime. It was just a different time in a different world. But as he went through the, the last dramatic shift, 04, 05, 06, 07, 08, when people lost their shirts, he thought, well, you know, we still have to sell real estate, but what if instead of having all of that landed cost, we were able to invest it back in the agent and have the agents help grow the company through referrals? How would that work? And so, you know, it kind of went from this to... I can't do it <laughs> to this <laughs> where, um, you know, instead of the agent feeding all of those layers above mm -hmm. now the agents on the top and all of those levels are below supporting the agent. And it's just really a beautiful way to look at it. Right. Yeah. So this is a little bit of a timeline. I think the things that are super important are, you know, when we went public um, in 2015, that was a big deal. Uh, when we um, hit the NASDAQ in 2018, uh, we'll talk a little bit about the ICON program, which was started. Um, and then now this is an older slide, but we're now in 21 countries and, and just exceeded 86,000. So, um, you know, people sometimes go, EX, what? Is it exit? Is it, you know, and we've been here for a very long time. Uh, and it just, uh, you know, it's grown so organically now so large, the elephant in the room, but really organically. I mean, we know many people who were agent number 300, agent number 446, agent, mm -hmm. and, and all their colleagues thought they were crazy. They're like, you're doing what with no office? What are you, how can you? 
Mm -hmm. Uh, And there's been bumps, you know, anything that's innovative like this certainly has its bumps, but um, the intention for being agent focused and forward facing and agile has proven to be even more brilliant than anyone ever thought it was going to be for sure. I'll let you take this one, Barbara. I know it's one of your favorite slides. We are, we are agent obsessed. Yes. Um, Yeah. So every company has core values. If if they don't have core, core values, they should. Um, these are EXP Realty's core values, and um, I love every single one of these. I, of course, I have my favorites. Um, my most favorite one is probably the collaboration, and you can notice that between Lisa and myself. Lisa and I actually met on a Zoom call, and um, we just kind of hit it off from there and um, turned out to be like very, 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 very best of friends. And um, anyway, we didn't meet in person for a year. That's right. <laughs> During COVID. Yeah. 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 Um, but the collaboration that EXP has is, I mean, second to none. I've never seen this type of collaboration amongst realtors ever. I know I was with a small boutique brokerage, but um, even with that small brokerage, we did not share our, our tips and tricks. So um, collaboration is huge for me, as is the transparency. That was a big one for me too. I wanted to make sure, you know, I knew, you know, where my money was, how I was getting paid, um, you know, all of that. So you'll you'll hear that EXP has definitely all of those and all these other core values. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So service is one that I think um, we don't talk about enough. You know, we have a number of initiatives in EXP. One is called Extend a Hand. Uh, one is called One EXP. There are a number of things that, and for me, that kind of contribution back to the community, back to the agents is is so fundamental to who we are um and so i lo- i love that one and i love the ad i love agility you know we saw that during the pandemic how how all of a sudden exp was offering telehealth that wasn't even a thing no one even knew what that you know and within the first like 10 days it was like nine dollars a month or something there was this because they had you know they're trying to build it um you know flying the airplane while you're building it um, it, it, but they were able to, and, you know, now as, as Glenn continues to shift his focus into not only building a company that's going to have the wealthiest realtors, but how about the healthiest realtors? And now the agility within the company to kind of continue to expand along the lines of uh, uh, amazing attention and focus to our health. So I just, uh, I love the, the agile, especially being so large. Um, you never feel like things can't get done, you know? So our business model, um, you know, this is something that I think is pretty um, evident now to most people that all of that brick and mortar um, has really gone by the wayside. And some of it just has been innovation and some of it was pandemic related. Uh, For a variety of perfect storm issues, we've all learned. I mean, when I see a 75 year old whipping her phone out to get a QR code in a restaurant, you know (laughs) that the world has changed. And one of the amazing things to me about the pandemic also was, you know, just really being in awe of the resilience of the human mind. You know, people just were able to do things that, so I think, you know, leaving all of that stuff and moving to the cloud um, has continued to, that's the, that's what's, that, that is the future. That's where we are. That's where we are in the present. Um, and um, we are still the only 100% cloud-based uh, brokerage. But we are one broker, which is not a franchise. And this comes in really handy for people who um, ha- are dual licensed. Because one of the amazing things about the fact of being not a franchise is that if you have a license in more than one state, you only have one cap at EXP Realty. And that's a big, you know, here in Massachusetts, we have a lot of realtors that are in Florida and there's snowbirds back and forth. And when they go to Florida, they have to find another brokerage. You know, let's say they were in a large local up here. They had to find another brokerage down there. They're paying two sets of fees two different sets of branding. I don't even know how they figured it out, but here we don't have any of that. So we're able to take all of those typical franchise costs and sink them back into innovation, which is exciting. Yep. Yeah. So the, 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 yeah, the cloud campus environment um, and, and you'll, and we have no desk fees. Why, why would we? Because everything's in the cloud and you can work from anywhere. I, you know, I tend to do a lot of traveling um, a lot of my family is back east, so it doesn't matter where I am. I always have access to everything. Um, cut the overhead brick and mortar costs. We don't we don't need to pay to keep the lights on because we're using our lights in our own home. So there's no expensive leases, paperless transactions. So the cloud campus environment is just perfect for anybody anywhere. On the go for sure. Mm-hmm. 
So here's kind of the three sections that we're gonna go through as we go through the presentation tonight. One is about our compensation model, which uh, we think is fabulous. Uh, may not be the best in terms of high, high dollars on the split, but in the end, I mean, both Barbara and I are getting paid to sell real estate at, at EXP Realty, and we'll explain why. The community, which we talked a little bit about in terms of collaboration, and then the cloud-based piece. So compensation. Um, we're not gonna go through every one of these, but you know, you ask yourself that question if you're not with the XP currently, in what way or ways does your current broker compensate you? Most people will have one way and that's transaction income. Mm -hmm. And that's it. There is no, there is no other way. Right. Keller Williams, although Keller Williams does have the profit share, but that's very different. We'll get into that in a minute. So here are just eight different ways, uh, and we're not going to go over every single one of them. If you're not with the XP and you want to take a slide uh, screenshot of this, we do have, uh, there are at least these eight ways. And now with the new affiliation certification, Barbara, talk about that real quick, because you, you did get that certification when we were just in Vegas. Oh, yeah. So it, at our um, conference, the EXP Con, they had um, different classes that you could attend to get certified in, in other areas. So one class that I took was called the um, EXP Affinity. And um, what that is, is it's it's kind of like a relocation, but it's not the company paying for the relocation for their employee. employee. This is somebody who wants to move, um, but they need help getting relocated. So they still go to their HR department and the HR department has an agreement with the EXP and then we're able to help them with closing cost credit in order to do that. Um, we also have that with our first responders and with our military. So it's a super exciting program. It's not quite launched yet. I believe it's um, coming on in the next couple of weeks, definitely by January 1. Um, but it's that's an amazing program to be able to help not only your buyers and sellers, but um, you can also go out to companies and try to have, you know, have them come in and join our program so that we can help their employees as well. Yeah, yeah, for sure. We may touch on iBuyer um, and we're going to definitely touch on the equity piece uh, and revenue share. So we're going to we are going to touch on these, but it's just nice to see like on one slide um, what's going on. So here's the actual meat and potatoes of what our uh, um, compensation plan looks like is an 80 20 split for everybody. It doesn't matter whether you are an agent that just came over for a million dollar listing LA or whether you're a brand new agent coming out of school in the Boston area and you've never sold a thing. Um, you will have an 80-20 split. And trust me, we have heard funny stories of people coming in and trying to, to you know, get a new get a deal for themselves. And it's been the same answer every time. No, it's just 80-20. That's what it is to a $16,000 cap, which is relatively small um, in the grand scheme of things. I was paying about 37000 to my Remax. Uh, at the end of the 16,000 um, split, where you pay that 20% of your commission equals 16,000, you go to 100%. And that is the greatest thing in the world. I, you know, I, I um, the first year that I was here, I was able to pay off debt that I never thought I'd be able to pay off because I was getting 100% of my commission for like nine months. And that I've never had that opportunity ever, 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 ever. So that's really great. We do have uh, standard startup costs. Your first month is 149. That includes your $85 cloud brokerage fee. There's a $25 transaction review fee. Thank you, God, I would pay a lot more than that to make sure I was in compliance. And then you pay a $40 risk management fee for each transaction only when you sell something. And that caps out at 500. So, you know, I heard someone say, say something like, um, how about owning your own brokerage for $85 a month? That's exactly in effect what EXP is offering. Mm -hmm. Yep. You definitely do not have to be a broker. I, I do have my broker's license, but I only did that just because I wanted to have a broker's license, but you don't, you don't need it with EXP. No. And the really sweet spot is kind of a small, small to medium brokerage that suddenly has no, you know, suddenly has no brick and mortar, you know, and, and, and the owners can build their sales organization and get compensated in a very different way, but not have the responsibility that they had when they were sweating it out. They always say that the word broke is in the word broker for a reason. <laughs> so, not training yet. So yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So revenue share plan, um, Barb, you want to start taking this and I'll, I'll jump in. 
Yeah, what we love about the revenue share is, um, we, you know, we kind of refer to it as as referral fees. Yeah, realtors know all about referral fees. You have you have an agent in another area that you want to refer a client to, you get paid a referral fee. It, it's kind of the same way when you're um, introducing an agent to EXP. So they they join EXP, you sponsor them into the company, and when they close a transaction, you get quote unquote a referral fee. That's part of the revenue share. So we'll we'll get into that with a slide. Um, I think we have a slide on here a little yep. bit later. Yeah, a little um, bit. One important note, though, is that where it says important note, the EXP pays this revenue share. This does not come out of the agent. So that's one of the reasons why this revenue share versus a profit sharing plan is so much more sustainable and predictable because it is always being paid out of the 20% that goes to EXP prior to capping. And so, you know, the, it's a finite number. You're only going to earn X amount per agent per year, but but that's every year. It's recurring, recurring revenue there. Mm -hmm. So I have just two slides on this. Um, and this just kind of shows uh, on your first level um, that compensation back to you is three and a half percent of the gross commission. So out of that 20%, EXP needs about 10% to keep the lights on. And the other 10 is what starts to pay out the revenue share portion. So on that first level, that equals 2,800. So for each agent that you introduce, you could, if they cap, if they're a capping agent, earn $2,800 a month. And that starts to exponentially really grow. Mm -hmm. uh, and this kind of shows what that cascade looks like. Once you have five people on your first tier or first level, and you start to add, you know, then those people, you know, like, let's say my, my, my gal Louise, she now has, she has Sue Ann. And so as you start to grow, the people that you refer in get excited and they refer a few people in and that continues to cascade and grow. This is just one slide that talks about the, the seven tiers. Um, seven tiers is pretty typical in network marketing. Um, and that's the model. It's not a dirty word. It's not an F word. It's a network marketing. It's based on that model. And this just shows kind of the, one of the things that I think is so affirming for me is that tier two pays higher than tier one. So how invested am I in helping my sales organization at level one add people to their level two? There's an automatic super focus on that. And then look at tier seven. So you don't go to heaven because you got a million people on your, on your sales organization that don't sell real estate. If they continue to cap and sell real estate and you're able to keep people engaged and have 40 engaged capping people on your tier seven, you'll get paid up to $4,000 per agent. And that's a lot of money. A lot. <laughs> that's a big number. <laughs> yeah. But it also just shows kind of the, you know, where the, where, where, um, where focus goes, energy flows, right? Mm -hmm. This is a beautiful example of that for mm -hmm. sure. So equity, you want to go ahead and take this one, Barb? Yeah, so the, this is another way that that agents get paid with the EXP is through the the equity opportunities that we have. Um, so every year when you close your first transaction, you get stock. When somebody you sponsor closes their transaction, you get stock. It's it's almost like every time you turn around, you you get stock of, of some some way. Um, when you cap, you get stock. So it's you know all these all these little gifts that are given to you. Now, uh, the uh, stock that is gifted to you does have to vest for three years, um, but well, you know that goes in a, in a blank. Um, the other way that you can get stock is through the Icon Agent Award. Um, I should have my friend Lisa talk about that one. That's uh, I will. <laughs> it's a it's a pretty prestigious award. This is for people who sell a lot of real estate. And um, when you you hit your sixteen thousand dollar cap, right, and then you're one hundred percent. After you hit that cap, if you close another about twenty transactions, then EXP gives you your sixteen thousand dollars back in company stock. So, and my beautiful friend Lisa Parento has received an Icon Award two years, Lisa. Yeah, <laughs> yes. yeah. My my two years that I've been here, I, they actually have given me thirty two thousand dollars of stock. So. That's kind of sweet. Yeah, um, that's kind and, of a big deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's what I mean. Like you, I, I saw a T-shirt when we were in in Vegas that said something like, "I'd be embarrassed to say I only work for 100 <laughs> percent." I keep thinking about that because it's so funny. Because we really do, you know, we we're kind of getting paid for for selling real estate at EXP Realty. You know, and we actually um, have 
quite a few icon agents like that. It's not just, you know, few and far between. We have quite a few icon agents that, that are able to, to do that. And then the last way that, that we get the equity is um, through the agent equity program. And that's some, it's an optional program. I highly recommend it to any agent that, that I sponsor into the company. I kind of, I kind of, use it as like a retirement income for me, if you will. Absolutely. So what that means is um, when you get paid your commission, you can get 5% of your commission paid to you with company stock at a 10% discount. So that's a great way to, you know, build that little nest egg. I just kind of leave it there. You know, I don't need it right away. Stocks go up and down, up and down, just like everything else. And, um, you know, at one point the EXP stock was up over a hundred dollars a share, I think. Mm -hmm. split, and then, yep. yep. And then we split. So um, I'm not sure where the stock is right now, but that's a, a nice little, and, and that stock is available, available to you at any time because you've purchased that. The other stocks are gifted and those do have to vest for three years. Yeah. Well, and actually the first um, chunk that you get with Icon, it comes immediately. That, it actually has different vesting periods, but yes. we won't go into the weeds of that. <laughs> Uh, but wait, there's more. Um, so with the healthcare, you know, I think one of the things that's so striking to me, and I believe this is even higher, that according to NAR, 28 to 33 percent of all realtors have no health insurance. And uh, so knowing that this was going to be a concern, like so many other things that Glenn has put his focus to, we had a collaboration um, with um, an amazing healthcare program. This just kind of shows um, a little bit about what they say over and over that Clearwater really offers. And I know, Barbara, like you actually are on Clearwater, as is our sponsor, Tom Trong. And 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 they, and Tom continues. It's way more than eight thousand. Tom says he saves close to two thousand a month now. Yeah, yeah it's it, it it is pretty amazing. And and there's they just came out with major medical health insurance for mm -hmm. EXP agents. That's kind of a big deal. So if you you know it, and now it's open enrollment too. So you know I would urge you to take a look at uh, you know what EXP can offer. It's uh, I'm looking at it you know just to see if I want to change my plan, the plan that I have because I plan I have is a little older. And when I went to the convention, they're like, oh, you have to give us a call because we can even save you even more money. So I'm in the process right now of, of renewing it, but it's, it is an amazing plan. Yeah. And very then we'll do an analysis for anyone and then let you know, hey, this is really not going to save you money. Cause you said, Brie, Brie, yes. uh, that your son-in-law actually has a better plan with work. And they said, yeah, this is not going to work for you. But for lots of people, it really does. And especially those people who have been on 1099s forever, they're self-employed, single parents, um, this has been a godsend, you know, and, and I think he said there's about nine or 10,000 out of our 86,000 that are actively on the health plan. So that's significant yeah. um, for sure. So we're going to go through these slides kind of quickly because it's, you know, this used to be two years ago when we gave this presentation, it seemed a lot more novel. Now everything is in the cloud. Everything is, you know, I can do it on my phone. Yeah. Uh -huh, yeah. Yeah. And I can do it on your phone. Um, but, you know, we have uh, an, an amazing suite of tools and we're going to go through each of them very, very quickly. I would say I was just on Enterprise earlier today, um, looking at some of the new collateral. So this is like your dashboard, one login. Thank you, heavens. Um, and it has everything from your stock to your production. Um, it's got your transaction management. It has um, the marketing center, which is amazing. Um, there's presentations there, all kinds of stuff. Anything that you would need to know, you just dial in to hopefully you have that pinned on your browser and you just dial in to EXP Enterprise. Um, the Sky Slope system, this is something that's uh, that's available on the open market. Uh, the One of the large locals here on Cape Cod uses it. It's called, it, and, and Sky Slope is um, pretty intuitive. And to me, the most amazing part about Sky Slope is that the minute you enter a transaction, it automatically generates a giant checklist with a whole bunch of red lights. And you have to make sure that every red light has turned to green or you're not getting paid and it's not closing. And so there's that um, waking up in the middle of the night, <gasps> I forgot the lead paint form or like whatever, you know, there isn't any of that. Another thing that Glenn saw as really holding people back and holding them down were all the details because so many of us are not that detail oriented. So having a platform like this as part of your $85 a month um, is amazing for sure. I love it. Mm -hmm. Workplace by Facebook. Facebook, yep. The workplace, We I love workplace. Every single person who joins EXP automatically is included in workplace. So if you ever wanted to find an agent anywhere, you know, you just have to go onto workplace and you'll be able to find them. You use it just like Facebook. You can send in, instant messages. You can join any kind of group. You can create a group. 
Um, we ha- I don't even know how many groups we have, but if you have an interest, Probably there's a- thousands. Yes. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's just, it's a wonderful, wonderful um, communication platform is what I like to call, you know, I like to use it that way. And an added benefit is there's no politics. So that's, and no ads. <laughs> Yeah, when I was talking about the collaboration earlier. This is what I'm talking about too. Like, if you were to go into workplace and you say something like, "Hey, does anybody have an updated listing presentation that they're willing to share?" You know, and I'll, you will get a gazillion, you know, um, different forms of listing presentations that other EXP agents use. So I just, I, I just love all the sharing that goes on in the in the platform. Yeah, absolutely. I'm in a group uh, for icon instructors. We one of the things that we do is is teach in the world, and there's I mean every day there's people uploading you know documents they're going to use in their class. That are, I mean it's just it's amazing the the amount of of in, of, of of resources that are so willingly and generously shared are really fantastic. So mm-hmm. KV Core, uh, I had to hire my amazing executive assistant Raymar, who's on the call with us, because I could not keep up with. KV Core. I could not keep up with the number of leads coming in. I they weren't people were not getting the right in the right campaigns. This is such an amazingly powerful tool that we're all given also for eighty five dollars a month. Um, and it's a it's a great CRM. You throw all your leads in. All your leads continue to go in there. There's some great new market reports that everyone is just starting to to send out, which are really beautiful. Um, but the the I think the most compelling thing about uh, KV Core is the layer of artificial intelligence. So when you have those uh, contacts in there as leads, depending on whatever program they're in, KB Core will go out and kind of be able to monitor what activities those people are. So you'll get emails, multiple emails every day that John Smith just looked at 123 Main Street or Susan Martin just looked at a property that she hadn't looked at for two weeks. So if you were really needed leads and you were really working on the production piece of your business, every morning you would know where to pay your attention. Every morning you would know who to pick up the phone and call. Every morning you would know what that buyer was really looking for because they just looked for it yesterday and KV Core sent you a text about it and the house. Yep. Yeah. The, and the live training that we have, um, I didn't really touch on it during um, in workplace, but we have um, over 80 hours of live training. The, we have the uh, training calendar it comes out every Sunday. It gets emailed to every single EXP agent. And I always suggest to people, just take a look at the training calendar and pick out three classes. Find three mm-hmm. classes that you want to attend that week on anything. It can be on social media. It can be on listing presentations. It can be on how to work with a buyer, open houses. It, there's training for everything. And um, put it on your calendar. If you can't make it because all of a sudden an appointment came up and you have to go meet with your buyer or seller, then more than likely that training class um, is going to be recorded. And so we have hours and hours and hours of recorded classes that you can always go back to and listen in. I, I was just in there the other day and I was listening to a class that was recorded in July, I think it was. And I thought, how did I miss this class? It was so good. So, and of course I'm Googling everything and checking everything out, but you know, it was amazing that I was able to go back in and check it out. So I had to do it. And you can listen to them while you're driving. You know, you don't have to, certainly the the recorded ones, you know, you can just um, open up the app while you're driving and pick up some great tips about Facebook ad marketing. I mean, just, you know, everything from like really tangible pragmatic skills to lots of soft skills, lots of of mindset. Um, You know, there's all really everything. There's just such an amazing wide variety as well as a number of certification programs. We have the iBuyer uh, certification program called Express Offers. We have the REO uh, certification. We have the relocation certification. We have a uh, commercial certification. So there are additional, I mean, the, the commercial is five days. I mean, they're, they're, you know, but you have the opportunity and it's amazing and it's all included, no extra charge. And so many of our fine colleagues uh, have to pay for every single one of those every time they turn around for any additional training. Um, so that's kind of amazing. Um, real-time support and, uh, you know, and I don't know if this is t- talks a little bit about the world. I'll just mention that real quick. So we have about 1,900 people in the world now that are our staff in the cloud, that are our support staff. When Barbara and I first started doing this just 18 months, two years ago, we had 600. So as we've continued to grow, so have they added more and more support staff, which is a really good business model. 
Um, but one of the things I think that that Glenn saw was that agents very often are not super techie. Mm -hmm. So he created a resource in EXP world called Tech Outpost. And if you have something that's really monkeyed up on your computer, not just has to do with EXP or production, it could be the sound, it could be like who knows what. 11 plus hours a day, you can go into EXP world, go to Tech Outpost, pull a ticket like in the deli and wait for 90 seconds. And you're sitting across from a table from a tech who can actually tunnel into your computer with permission and help uh, trans help help uh, you know figure out what's going on with you and and uh, it's amazing. There's yeah. one more thing, the one more visionary kind of thing. So the community, we mentioned this just a little bit earlier when uh, when we were talking about uh, core values and service. Um, the one exp initiative is is really beautiful, super diverse. In workplace, there's all kinds of LGBTQ plus groups. There's groups for you know Asian. There's a just a million different groups. If that was something that you wanted to you know contribute, oops, contribute to also. This is an online magazine, and I kept this slide in because I think it's really important. And I think it's a resource that we don't look at enough. This has all the updated. Um, uh, press releases, some great stuff from Success Magazine, all the current, you know, the current issues of Success Magazine, um, EXP Commercial, everything is in this online uh, resource and we hardly ever take a look at it. So I just wanted to, to mention this is in there. Internationally, you want to talk a little bit about, about this, Barb? Yeah, so we're not just in the United States and Canada, we, we actually are worldwide. And the nice thing about that is um, you can basically grow your organization worldwide. So I happen to have somebody in my organization who has contacts in, in Spain. And so, you know, she has an, an agent in Spain. I think she has another one um, in another country. I, I can't remember. But, you know, she has all these different little contacts. And so that's another way, another great way to build your revenue share organization. Um, so that and also for referrals. Referrals. Right? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Open borders. <laughs> yep. Yeah, for sure. Asian Advisory Council, another uh, initiative where um, they've created kind of a council of agents. This is these these are uh, two year terms. People continue to cycle on and off, and they have agents from large that came from large brokerages, small brokerages from all over the country, from small markets, luxury markets. You know it, that this is this really reflective group of people that kind of beta test a number of things that are coming out. They ask um, you know different whatever initiatives are happening. You know what our feedback is on that. Um, I have the great uh, honor of serving on the Asian Advisory Council now. Uh, my term just started in July, so that's very exciting. Um, it's been really a lot of fun, and it's been amazing to know that the conversations that we're having actually make a difference in a place that's this big, you know, that they seek out that information. Um, oops, for sure. Um, so here's some of the partners, and I think some of this was covered in your affinity certification, correct, Barbara? Um, no, 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 not really. That it's because it's, it's a little bit different okay. as far as the, the affinity group goes. Uh, but these are these are partners that um, EXP has. So EXP World Holdings um, is our, our parent company. And um, we have relationships with all of these other companies. If you were to use them, um, there is a way that that you can get, I'm just going to call it a referral fee, um, you know, to be able to to give, I guess, get back, if you will. So you, you know, you use our preferred partners. And then um, there's like a like a um, little sister sharing that we have. So I know that like for build a sign, I have to get some new signs made. And and build a sign is giving us some great um, coupons right now and some great discounts on on signage. So, um, but every single every single partner here has something that either you or your client will need. Yeah, and actually, this is something that, from what I understand, that they're really going to um, be unveiling. In, during the next calendar year, almost like a marketplace where mm -hmm. there'll be different kinds of coaching uh, programs and I mean, all kinds of things that agents and their clients um, can utilize. And it's just, again, another place for that I can see, you know, Glenn's vision of continuing to bring people together uh, to our shared platform for sure. So here's, uh, you know, some quotes about the company. I also have a great, this just came out yesterday. Um, this was the second of uh, the third quarter, uh, just released yesterday on workplace, uh, the great quote by Glenn, we continue to grow revenue and gain market share despite an increasingly challenging market. The third quarter reflects EXP's resilient model and ability to grow through any market. We continue to strengthen our value proposition with the new services, including revenues, 
which mm -hmm. is a referral, giant referral program, EXP Luxury, woo, 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 as mm -hmm. well as initiatives by Success, Success Health and Success Coaching. So um, again, innovation is just happening all the time. And here's just some of the numbers. Uh, when you look at the, the revenue and the profit and the net income, um, this is not what we're seeing in the marketplace for all of our fine competitors at all. We're seeing contraction after contraction. We're seeing compensation plans changed. We're seeing um, offices closed and um, some very uncertain agents for sure. So that was all great news for sure. I love yeah. that, that we're ranked number one in agent count and transaction size on the 2022 T3. We're not a recruiting company. Right, right. We're a real estate, we're a real estate technology company for sure. So if you're not with the XP Realty, please get with the person that uh, invited you to tonight for sure. We we're happy to answer any questions. That's an old slide of ours. And that's it. 7.15. We're still in good time. Um, love to open this up if anyone has any questions. Marcus, Chris, Scott, Alicia. I know that um, Meg had to jump off. But she just wanted to come on and say hi. Um, no so questions. Happy to answer any questions if you guys have any. No questions as of right now. You explained everything clearly and concisely. Thank you. Oh, good. My pleasure. That was good. We like to hear that. <laughs> yeah, I, don't have, I don't have any questions. There's some great information that I'm going to share with people coming into EXP very soon. I joined about five or six weeks ago, so it's information nice. overload, but I'm loving yeah. every second, every day of it. It's always something beautiful. Yeah, it is. Marcus, and for sure, when I first came in, I attended a ton of these. Um, just to see how people explained it, because people do explain it differently, right? And, um, you know, Barb and I love to to kind of, you know, work together and partner. And, and there's other um, folks that do, uh, you know, two-person presentations, some do one, but it's really interesting to hear what other people, uh, you know, how it's presented. So I really uh, applaud you for attending tonight and welcome back anytime for sure. We always do it the first, uh, first Wednesday of the month um, and we're happy to get back. Yep, I'm in Rhode, I'm in Rhode Island. I'm licensed in Massachusetts, so hopefully oh, nice. Lisa will meet at some point in time soon. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely, that would be great. Yeah, let me know if you have any questions, have any clients, um, and I'll do the same. That okay? Um, Who did you come in under? Um, Donna Donna Haynes Dwyer. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. She's yeah. yeah, of course, yeah, yeah. Sure, and I have worked together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep, absolutely. Yeah, she's a nice, nice girl. Yeah, great. Well, welcome. Thank you. Thanks, Barbara. Yeah, yeah. You'll, you know, every time you hear this presentation, you'll pick up something new because there, there is so much. And Lisa and I really just touched on a little bit of it. There's there's so many more slides that we could have included. But, you know, again, we don't really want to do information overload. You've, you're already getting that with all the emails that you're getting from me. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And please feel free to come Friday to the Business Plan Clinic. Um, I do that mastermind once a month. Barbara usually does it with me. Um, and that's just usually, you know, we just do that on production, uh, but it's a really good time. If you haven't started your business plan, just at least, you know, pop in for this hour, take a look at some of the resources that we're going to be talking about getting yourself together for next year. Um, okay. that would be really great. And then think about joining our, our gratitude challenge. Um, okay. that's yeah. always fun. Yeah. Just Sounds to add good. Some, some more of that into, into the mix. Chris and Scott, any questions? No questions, kind of uh, mirroring a little bit of information overload. <laughs> uh, but yeah, some of this has been repeated quite a few times in the emails, like you guys have said, but it's always good to get that information because you tend to forget some of it um, early on because you are trying to focus on so much. So uh, thank you guys. Yeah, for and again. the onboarding process, I can tell you um, that is a major, major, major initiative. We have a new CIO and a new COO. And they've worked together in a number of different industries. They're not in real estate. And it's fantastic because they have a whole very different way of looking at some of this. And onboarding is key, right? So they, you know, Patrick, we just had a conversation with Patrick in, um, in Vegas. And, you know, he, he said he was able to look at like, well, why are these five buckets doing these things for onboarding? And and bucket number one and number three are doing the exact same thing at two different times. And bucket number two, you know, there was all this kind of, but someone coming in and looking at it from, from the outside. Um, 
And then, and Glenn is very focused on that. Glenn recently talked about attending a very large network marketing convention because he says in some senses, we don't really have any peers in this space, right? Certainly not in real estate. There's nobody, in, it's, it's different. So everybody at the network marketing conference, guess what the number one problem that everybody has is? Onboarding. Onboarding. Yeah, onboarding. So there was a lot of, you know, a lot of commiseration and collaboration around that. And it just helped also really continue to have um, him from the top down focus on that being the next frontier for, I mean, it's not really, it's not have all the information. You can yeah. start off like your business plan um, or just starting a career off with everything you need to know. And you're like, oh, I forgot about that. Uh, yeah, for sure. All right, well, if there's no more questions, we will wrap this up a couple minutes early. That's awesome. Scott, do you have any questions? I, I don't know. I'm quiet. Hey, sorry about that. No, no questions here. I think you guys did an amazing job. Um, I did invite my team. As you guys know, I, I have a, a team of 10. So um, I just wanted to come on and see how you guys present it. But, uh, but awesome job. Thank you. Well, you're, you're welcome. We um, always record these as well, and we have them posted on the YouTube channel. So if you ever want the link, just um, you know, hit me in Workplace or something like that, and I'm happy to um, send it out for sure. Awesome. And I'm about I'm about four transactions from uh, Icon myself, so Ooh, trying to get nice. There. Nice. You will get there. Good for you. Good for you. It is. It is kind of really great. <laughs> yeah. I have to say. Yeah. Yeah. And once you're an icon, you're always an icon. So just like even if it's past your icon year. You're still called an icon, so that's kind of great. Nice. <laughs> it doesn't expire. Yeah, I thought I kind of thought it expired. It doesn't expire. You just always are, you know. So that's kind of great too. So we just have awesome. we have a we have a big event, a, a big three four hour event at all the conferences for the icons, and um, it's always amazing. And there's you know, eight hundred people there because uh, you once an icon, always an icon. So that's great. All right. Well, thanks that's everybody awesome. again. Thank you. Yeah, I really appreciate you taking the time to join us tonight. If we can answer any other questions, please feel free to reach out. I hope we'll see you at the Business Plan Clinic on Friday. And hope we'll also see you at um, our Gratitude Challenge Facebook group. Yep. Bye. Thank you.